Okay, story number three, The Way to the Open Door. Oh god, rat. So are we gonna hit like a bunch of switches and uh, open those? Okay, one of those levels. One of those levels where the ending's at the very beginning and you have to work your way into finding it or how to uh, activate it. And every time you go inside a door, a new one opens. Isn't that just dandelions? Nope, don't want to go down yet. Oh, god, yeah, god. Nope. Nope. Ah, no, no, no. Window pane, you need to get a new job. Seriously. I don't like your job. Your job makes me sad. Can I even do this, or do I have to... Yep, I have to make my way back. That's okay, though, because door number... One is opened. Oh, God. Well, sure, we'll defeat you that way. Well, hey, that takes care of these guys. Oh, but now we're falling through the floor. Okay, so this room was made for Zombie Wario, okay. He is invincible. You can't kill the walking dead. They're already dead. You can't do it unless you shoot a bullet straight to their brain. Or a crossbow, or a samurai sword. A lot of other things, too. You can honestly get as creative as you want with those uh, walker deaths, as you call them. Okay, I can't get in there, though. Let's see, now three is open. I'm willing to bet that once we find the switch, it may be in our beth best interest to uh, actually explore the other rooms. So we can uh, go back and try the other switches. Oh, come on, really? Okay, well, let's try in here. Oh, well, that works. I was actually kind of wondering if uh, I'd have to go through a bunch of rooms or all the rooms all over again just to find this, but no, it was... Uh, right here. Also, Cloud Dude! King Nimbus from Nimbus Land. My god, you're not as huge as you were in that game. And that gives Vadio a champagne glass for some good champagne drinking. I know, warriors shouldn't be drinking, we went over this before, but... Eh, a small glass of champagne's not gonna hurt, I suppose. It's the hard liquor we have to look out for. Can I even do this without... Yep. There we go. And there's the switch. All I need to do is press it and get the hell out of here. Now wait, is the door going to be open? We need to go through some other doors first. Let's try door number four. Window panes. Yep, I remember you. I remember these guys too.
I don't have to go for these coins. I guess I could technically just uh, enter the rooms and exit the rooms really quickly. But where would the fun in that be? Wouldn't be a lot of fun at all. Number, number, what's your function? We have a... Oh. For a minute I thought I pressed the button way too many times, thus uh, forfeiting my attempt, but uh, nope. I actually uh, ignored the countdown, which I didn't know you could do. Okay. Quite literally, the last square we're going to get is going to be the most useless. Okay, coming back is difficult. Depends, how far did you uh, go back? Or go forward, rather. You never want to give up, Wario. And you have the heart of your cards in your favor. You just don't want to give up. There's a whole world of possibilities. Endless possibilities. Sometimes you just need to live a little. You know? You know what I'm saying? Oh, come on. Yeah, coming back is going to be difficult, won't it? Because there's a lot of doors I missed. Speaking of which, there's a door. Let's check it out. Light. Or not light, that's actually the, uh... That's actually the switcher thing we've been looking for. Oh, I know what you mean by coming back is difficult. Because you can't see where you're going. It's genius. I, mean, I guess you can kind of see these uh, jokers. I suppose that does help a little bit. Aw, oh, dang it. Oh, hold on. Boom. Hold on, let me get back up there. Thank you. Oh, there was another one. There was another platform I didn't see. Meanwhile, this guy is being a jerk. Oh, there we go. That solves one mystery, but now we have a bunch of others. For one, how do I... Well, I guess I just go through the door again. First, though, I need you guys. There's probably another platform I just can't see, but. I don't know that for a fact. Also, Pelican? You're a Pelican. Take that as an insult. Take that as an insult to your kind. No! Dang it, Pelican. Stop that! You're not funny or smart. You. <sighs> Die. My God, seriously, that, that was a that was a dick move. You don't do that to a man like Wario. You just you just don't. You don't do that either. You have no rights. You have no liberties. And the pursuit of happiness is just... It's, it's nothing for you. The sooner you realize that, the better off you'll be. Oh, 
also. Hello, coins. Not sure if this is the way I want to go, but... Hey, there's lots of coins. My number's increasing ever so much higher. I think in the long run, this is what we wanted in the first place. We were all just a little bit too shy to admit it. Like these coins. Let's take a moment and just think about these coins. These coins could be saving the economy someday. Also, let's think about the treasure game. I mean, while we're growing up, we never had a treasure game. I think for a lot of us, we take the treasure game for granted. We think that it's just, well, okay, well, you can just find one in every level, but... Truth be told, I'm still looking for the treasure game. Not this treasure game, not the treasure game in the last level, but my treasure game, you know? The treasure game that, deep inside of all of our hearts, it, it's just something we, we can't ignore. So, something, something that we just take for granted that, you know, that it's, it's always going to be there, but in reality... We're all looking for that treasure game. I mean, you think it's just going to be, oh, it could be in the first door I see, no big deal, it'll be there, but what happens when it's not there? And then you try the second door, what if, what if it's not there either? You just don't know. None of us know. And I think the sooner that we realize that, you know, to get to that treasure room, sometimes we'll need to throw an enemy at a wall, or maybe sometimes we need to bash through a wall that we didn't even know we could break through. Or maybe, just maybe, we'll finally use that spring transformation. And when we turn into that spring, my god, we're gonna jump. We're gonna jump high. We're gonna jump higher than we ever thought possible. My fellow Star Warriors, we're gonna spring into the heavens. We're gonna spring to our treasure room. Just think about that for a moment. Think about it. So, uh, yeah, where were we? <laughs> okay, um, let's try this game. Seven, three, I think it's a three. No, it's a nine. Yeah, it's a nine. Yeah, quite literally, there's not going to be anything important in that last space. Maybe the side, the bottom left-hand side of the hill, and then that final thing in the skull that we're just barely missing the side to. Okay, um, capture the ghost. Which one? That one? Okay. Nope, not that one. That ghost is a dick. Nope, nothing down there. Two doors. Pick your poison. This doesn't seem like poison, but something we could use for a better tomorrow. What about in here? Oh boy! I'm so hungry, I could eat an Octorok. Or I could, uh, just travel through here. So wait a minute. 
Are you saying that... Hold on, before I do anything stupid. Uh, hold on. I'm trying to get him to land on that platform. Maybe if I do right here? Yep, there we go. Now is he gonna stay there? Nope, he's not. Of course, of course you're not gonna stay there. You're a, you're a jerk. Okay, well we made it this far. Bounce. Okay, well we got some big coins there. Oh, ouch. Okay, that works too. Uh, I don't think I'm going to aim for the other ones. It'll just take way too much time. Time I don't really want to waste. Also, wait before I do anything. This is the boss room. Okay. The boss room is near. I think it's probably down here. In fact, I'm pretty damn sure it's going to be that way. <laughs> Oh god, you go away. Frickin' ice dude. Oh, hi, boss door. I'm not ready for you yet. I still got things to discover. Like these coins. And these coins. And you know what? We're gonna probably discover, discover even more coins after this. So uh, go ahead and knock this da uh, wall down too. I maybe fine. Do that. Do that. Okay. One hundred and eighty-two gold pieces. You would think that'd be enough for Wario, but it's never enough. Never, ever, and nope. Every single time that guy tries to freeze me, but he has another thing coming. I'm not just someone you can freeze. Not like that, anyway. Okay then. What's down here? Nothing. Oh, right, okay, yeah, you never want to break those drawers. It seems like every single one of those has a ghost in it. And you know what, I think that room right there is a treasure room, I can already feel it. So, you know what we're gonna do, we're gonna shove this thing all the way over. Grab some coins along the way. And we're just gonna keep on shoving. Actually, that's screw me over. Do I need the other block before I can move this further, or is this just gonna work out like this? I see how it is. So we're gonna do that, and now we have spaces up here so we can actually get over. Now I think we can get to the treasure room. And after that we can uh, finish this final chapter too. Yep, okay, uh, this is actually the final treasure game. No more of these. It's over. Party's over, folks. Okay, Charging Chuck. Where are you? 
play a mean game of football, but I play a mean game of memory match on easy mode. Because there's no other way to play memory match than easy mode. Can I even get through here or do I have to... Well, that works too, I guess. Okay, well, let's go uh, fight this boss. I think we can do it. Do I really have to... I have to turn on that switch again. Well, thankfully, I think they actually gave us a... Yeah, they gave us a walkway so we can easily do this, but... That's annoying. You know, you could have just... You know, just... Not put a block here so I could at least get out. And by that, I mean in this room. Wait. I pressed it. Yeah, I did. Okay, never mind. For a minute, I didn't think I pressed it, but I did. Okay, let's do this. Hello. Oh my god. This really reminds me of the uh, witch from... Uh, Mario Land 2 for some reason. Okay, well, that works. I don't know why it reminds me of the witch. It's not exactly witchy or anything. Yeah. That was incredibly easy and not at all threatening. The only boss easier was that frickin' fish. Maybe even the snake. Okay, last number game. Because after that we'll have the uh, complete map. Two. Probably even did that on the first try, too. Well, here it is. Here's our treasure map. We can finally read it. Huh? So the treasure's there. We don't even need to... Why is the skull? Why is the X important when it's right there? We could have found the treasure, like, ten videos ago. Perfect! Now let's get to the Syrup's Treasure. Well, we will, but... First, I think we have a cutscene to do. Uh-oh. Wario, I think you uh, missed your treasure there, buddy. Wait, it was a... It was a dream? This whole time we were playing a dream? Oh wait, you know what? I think this is actually the cool credit sequence where you can, uh... I think anyway, don't quote me on this. Obviously we need to see it play out and everything, but I think this is where it's like... You kind of see the events of the actual game kind of unfolding while you're watching the credits, because... Here you have the, uh, pirates just trying to get away.
Ah, I think that'd be cool if that is what they actually did. But anyway, um... That's gonna be it for the entire game. After this credit sequence, we're gonna be 100% done with, uh... All the levels, all the main levels, all the hidden levels, basically anything you can do on the map screen, we're done with. But now that we have beaten the game, we have unlocked a new mode and a new level. And that's going to be essentially the extra video, so that's what we're going to do next. For now, uh, just enjoy the credits and uh, I'll see you guys next time. This is Slim Kirby. See you guys later. Farewell, thy Star Warriors.